You remember Ronnie Jackson, uh, former doctor to the stars, or at least one of them, Donald Trump? Um, he was on Fox News recently, and here's what he had to say in response to Texas starting to push more people to wear masks. We do not want to shut down business or Texas again. Uh, we cannot have that. What we can do, however, we can use these practices like what you just said, and that is people can wear masks. We can use these other strategies to slow the spread while we are awaiting the time when we do have these vaccines. And doctor, uh, one of the things that uh, Dr. Redfield, Redfield said yesterday, he's the director of the CDC, he said that if uh, all Americans wore a mask, they could control the coronavirus in one to two months. Well, I think wearing a mask is, is a personal choice, and I don't, I don't particularly want my government telling me that I have to wear a mask. Uh, and so I think that's a choice that I can make. We know a lot about this virus now. We know uh, the mortality rate is probably less than 0.1 percent. We know that it doesn't really affect children. If they do get it, they don't get sick. And uh, so I think you got to look at your personal circumstances. you got to look at your surroundings. you got to decide if that's right for you. And I'm a firm believer that that's, uh, at this point, a personal, a personal choice. And uh, I encourage people, if they want to wear a mask, to wear a mask. But uh, I, I don't wear a mask all, all that often, to be honest. Okay, I have thoughts, Dan, but I'll let you go first. What do you think about that? He's a doctor, after all. Let's acknowledge that. Dr. Ronnie Jackson. It's, I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know if you, not to put you on the spot, John, but do you know where, who gave him this credential? <laughs> like, where did he get this doctorate from? Is uh, it a doctorate in, like, actual science, or is it, like, a doctorate in philosophy? No, that's, that's the thing. Supposedly, he had an okay reputation up until the beginning of the, of the Trump years. Eventually, he had some issues, like, back in 2018, Trump tapped him to be the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, and then it came out that there were allegations that he drank on the job and overprescribed <laughs> medication. But, but the way that I remember it, up until then, he was believed to be, like, he's formerly the military, like, he was, he had an okay reputation. It's only really been under Trump, and now where he's, you know, tr he's running to, to become an elected Republican, that suddenly you're seeing more of this out-and-out -out craziness. And in addition, some of the stuff that he said about Trump's health um, seemed suspect uh, on its face. Um, but no, he, he, he apparently is an actual doctor. Okay, well, um, th thank you for that clarification. Given that, I mean... Yeah, I don't get how these people can live in this world where they, uh, the original part where he started his question was this, like, I don't believe I need to wear a mask if I don't want to, even though I think the person before that was saying, well, it seems like there's this evidence of everyone wears masks that we could handle this in one to two months. Again, if you look at almost every other country, you can see this aspect of um, what they've been able to done to tamp down the virus and it's really simple stuff you don't need to be stubborn about it and they were able to do it so that doctor air quotes um took the time on air to further continue what i guess is a continuing fox news campaign to yeah. misinform and muddy the waters at best muddy the waters with um how to take basic care of yourself under the guise of continuing this ongoing principle at fox news of um freedom and individualism but it's it's so shallow it's so hollow this it, it, even if there were some hypothetical case where we're saying hey well if the government can force us to do this then what can they force us to do this isn't even the hypothetical situation mm -hmm. we're saying we're not forcing you to wear masks in your house we're inside we're fine um but if you go outside this will help us contain this virus so that Again, we're not just trying to contain the virus so we get some uh, points on CNN's death counter board. We're trying to contain the virus so that our resources don't get overwhelmed. There's yeah. a reason to doing this. It's a community reason. But like I said, kind of in the beginning of the show, John, that America just doesn't do community. We don't do like public good. It's so rugged individualism. And it's the kind of thing that was just perpetuated on Fox there. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I, I, I get the, the invocation of the rugged individualism. I don't even... I think that's BS. I think it's just selfishness. Like, rugged oh, yeah, individualism no, no, no. implies that you are actually doing it all yourself. And we know that, that you, you, you scratch the surface of a ruggedly individual Republican congressman and he got some massive aid in college or something like that. I get what you're saying. But, yeah, it's this sort of selfishness that what I want is more important than what everyone else needs. Um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Ronnie Jackson, I mean... He had that reputation, so I looked it up while you while you were you were speaking. He um he's a physician of the president uh, under Obama and Trump. I think he's the one that administered Trump's um uh, record breaking cognitive health exam. 
Uh, so just bear yeah. that in mind to bring it around to the news of uh, the past few weeks. But think about, like, even if you believe ideologically that uh, it shouldn't be required, that that would be a slippery slope, that someday the government would be requiring other things or whatever. Let's say you actually honestly believe that. Even so, think about how how irresponsible it is for a doctor to say, you know what, if you want to wear one, I don't personally. I don't really wear one very often. What a bizarre over and above thing where it's not even like, I wear one, but I don't want to be forced to. I want it to be my decision. He's saying, I'm a doctor and I don't even wear one, honestly. Like, what What are what are regular Fox viewers going to take away from that? Are they going to be more or less likely to wear masks? He's risking their lives. He's risking the other people around him. Specifically, they're talking there about Texas. Tons of Republicans. He doesn't seem to give a damn about whether they live or die. This time makes no sense. <laughs> Yeah, like exactly what you're getting at there, John, is like a point in the media pipeline um, that I have talked about in several of my videos at youtube.com slash stand for the internet about like how there's this two step process in conservative media and conservative information spread. Step one is to delegitimize like the regular forms of information. So it's the polit politicization of um, the CDC, Anthony Fauci, looking through the flawed organization that is the WHO, but taking that through this sort of hyper-politicized, um, xenophobic, as in like anti-China lens, mm -hmm. um, and kind of like delegitimizing all the main forms of information that like, you know, the rest of the world is using. And then step two of that is it replace it with your own quote unquote experts, replace it with your own information that uses the credentials and uses the smarts, but they're people who, yeah, maybe they were sellouts from the start or maybe they chose to sell out recently. Like, I don't know what happened there, but um, you, as long as you are an expert and you lend your expertise to continuing the line mm -hmm. of propaganda, um, you can be rewarded by getting those sort of like Fox News analyst roles. Yeah. Or um, unfortunately, like as you were saying, the end result of that is um, misinforming the public on a very deadly, very dangerous virus. And you say this on the show very often, John, the median age of a Fox News viewer is um, kind of up there and overlapping with the age that this virus does hit, hit hard. Yes. So yeah, it's a problem. 100% right. And, and you're right. You you say you spread this sort of stuff so that you can get the, the Fox uh, like a correspondent or like a guest role, but also to win a Republican congressional race, which Ronnie Jackson is competing in the 13th district of Texas right now. So, yeah, imagine like you, you wonder, what would I do to get elected? Would I kill my own fans? I wouldn't. But there are people who hypothetically would. If, it, if it's at least a little bit abstract, they're not going to pull a trigger, but they will tell people to expose themselves to a deadly virus. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.